First-degree price discrimination is where the firm charges each customer the maximum price he or she is willing to pay for each unit. This is the demand curve of the price discriminating firm and it tells us the maximum price consumers are willing and able to pay for each quantity of good. At price equals P1, I am selling 200 goods. What do I do if I want to sell 201 goods? The 201st buyer is willing to pay at most P2. This buyer is whom we call the marginal consumer. He is the person who will switch between buying and not buying when the firm switches between price 1 and price 2. So without price discrimination, I have to lower the price of all 200 goods just to sell the 201st good to this guy. With first degree price discrimination, an increase in sale does not involve lowering the price of any unit except the extra unit sold. So the extra revenue gained from the last unit, the marginal revenue, will be the price of that unit. Profit is maximized at Q1 where MC equals MR. It also explains why the MR curve of the price discriminating firm is exactly its demand curve. Now the question is, what is the consumer surplus in first degree price discrimination? Since all consumers are charged the maximum price they are willing to pay, which is equal to their utility from consumption, the firm has actually captured all the consumer surplus.